Hello friends, welcome back. Friends, in this video, we will prepare a detailed financial model based on the assumptions what we discussed in the last video. So, we'll prepare a financial feasibility model for the real estate case study what we discussed. So, you can see on the screen, we have this Excel template which we will use to prepare detailed projection of a real estate case study. Okay. So, in this model, in this template, we have three tabs, assumptions, cash inflows, outflows and debt schedule. In the assumption sheet, we have all assumptions what we discussed in the last video. So you can see my day one investment, $50 million. Okay. This is the investment required on the very first day. Transaction and legal cost, $1 million. Again, this investment is also required on the very first day. Operational capex. So we need to incur $15 million of operational capex over the period of 24 months. Okay. So over this 24 months, we will incur $15 million of operational capex to convert this property into apartments. Okay. And the monthly capex would be $0.63 million. How we calculated this monthly capex? 15 divided by 24. Okay. Then capex start month in which month we are starting to incur this capex month one and capex end month when this operating capex will stop at the end of 24 month okay operating expenses per month to run this project we have to incur some operating expenses per per annum operating expenses one million dollar and per month operating expenses 1 divided by 12.08 million dollar operating expenses start month 1 and operating expense end month 48 because this project will go on for 48 months how we calculated 48 months for first 24 months there would be development of the project okay so we'll take 24 months to convert this property into apartments and then after completion of development, we will take 24 months to sell this project, to monetize this project. So total tenure of the project is 48 months. Okay. So these operating expenses will be incurred for 48 months. Okay. Development area. The total area we are developing under this project, 20,000 square meter. Okay. This is the sellable area. Sales price per square meter, 6,000 US dollar. Sales duration post completion of capex 24 months. So this 24 months plus 24 months of the operating capex 48 months is the total duration of the project. Sales start month. Sales will start from month 25 after completion of capex uh, tenure. Sales end month. Sales will end in month 48. Okay. Monthly sales. So we have calculated here monthly sales. How we have calculated monthly sales? The total sellable area is 20,000 square meter. Per square meter selling price is 6,000. This would be total selling price of the project. Okay. We'll do this sales over the period of 24 months. So this divided by 24. We'll get monthly sales. So you can see I put formula here. Formula is G13, which is development area into 6000 selling price per square feet, square meter divided by G15, which is the duration of the sales 24 months divided by 10 raised to the power 6. Basically, I have converted this number into millions. So monthly sales is $5 million. You can see guys, I have converted every number into monthly sales or expenses. Reason being, I have to do modeling here on the monthly basis. Okay. So here we had total operational capex of $15 million. I've converted this into monthly capex. Okay. Operating expenses, $1 million was for one year. I have divided this with 12 and I got monthly operating expenses. Okay. Capital gain tax, 10%. Now, project financing. Okay. We are using three source of finance here, debt, joint venture partners capital and developers capital. Okay. 
initial investment the first stage investment 50 million dollar we are not raising any debt to fund this okay joint venture partner will provide 20 million dollar of initial investment and the remaining 30 will come from the developer okay so total requirement is 50 million dollar on the day one of which 20 million dollar will be provided by jv partner as per the assumption sheet and 30 million dollar 50 minus 20 30 will be provided by the developer transaction and legal cost no funding from the debt no funding from the jv partners capital and the developer will put entire 1 million dollar okay operational capex operational capex as it was discussed 50 percent of the operational capex will be funded through debt it was given in the assumption sheet 50 percent will be through debt and jv partner will contribute 25 percent 25 percent of balance operating capex okay so operational capex remaining operational capex is 50 percent right of this 50 percent because 50 percent is funded through debt of this 50 percent <clears throat> jv partner will contribute 25 percent and the balance will be contributed by developer 75 percent 75 percent of this 50 percent so i have divided this balance 50 percent as in jv partner will put in balance 50 percent cut 25 percent okay and the developer will put in 75 percent of the balance okay rate of interest would be seven percent on the debt and the hurdle rate for the developer is what 20 percent because this is what the required rate of return for the developer okay so this is my assumption sheet basically <clears throat> whatever assumption was given in the previous video i have put those assumptions in the excel now on the basis of this assumption assumption sheet i'll create my next step cash inflows and outflows from this project okay so let's do that friends first i'll calculate cash outflows because the project at the first stage of the project we have to incur expenses and then the revenue will start so first i'll calculate cash outflows and then cash inflows so let's start with the cash outflows okay so as you can see as per assumption sheet i have three type of cash outflows one day one investment this is cash outflow you have to put in 50 million dollar then transaction and legal cost this is cash outflow number two then operational capex cash outflow number three and there is one more cash outflow which is what operating expenses so not three there are four sources of cash outflows initial investment transaction legal cost operational capex and operating expenses per annum okay so let's calculate monthly cash outflow in our model friends you can see in this template in this format we have monthly uh, column okay starting from month zero means the day one and it is extended up to this model is extended up to 48 months this is this is the total duration of the model now friends cash outflows initial capex the first stage capex day one capex will be incurred in lump sum okay so it will be incurred on the first day in the zero month so it's Let's directly link this capex from the assumption sheet. $50 million. Then transaction and legal cost. This will also be incurred on the first day. Let's link from the assumption sheet. This one. Then friends, operational capex. So as per my assumption sheet, operational capex would be $15 million. Monthly capex would be 0.63 which I have already calculated in the assumption sheet okay this will start the capex will start from month one the first month and going up to month number 24 of the project okay so month number one to month number 24 of the project during this phase 
of the project, we will incur operational capex. So let's link. So friends, we can automate this or we can directly link punch this value like this. Month one, my operational capex would be say 0.63 and I'll just interlink this number like this up to 24 months or I can also automate this so that in case I change in the assumption, say if I say, okay, no, operational capex will be extended from uh, 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 from 24 months to 36 months. Okay, <clears throat> so it will be incurred during the period of month one to month 36. My model should automatically capture this. Okay, I can automate this. How I can automate, automate this? I'll use if statement here. Say my condition is what? If this month, if this month is falling in this range, capex start month and capex end month. Okay. So if this month is equal to or greater than one and less than or equal to 24 month, if this is falling in this, this period, okay, we should get 0.63 there. Otherwise zero. So I can put formula here in the what would be formula here if and because I need to meet two conditions here if bracket start and again bracket start logical test one logical test two they can be multiple logical test okay so if there are more than one logical test you have to apply and function with if okay if and and means I need to meet two conditions okay if and this month is greater than or equal to if it is one or more than one what greater than or equal to capex start month g8 okay condition number one condition number two this month is less than or equal to capex end month which is last month of the operational capex if this month is falling in this time frame give me 0.63 which is what operational capex okay otherwise give me zero though we have to freeze couple of cells there let's see what we need to freeze and you can see we got 0.63 here reason being this month one is falling in that range month one to one month 24 my tenure of my phase of operating capex okay now what do we need to freeze in this formula in f3 which is my month okay i need to freeze not column just row because if i drag this on the right hand side it should pick the next column so i should not freeze column i should freeze only row of assumption g8 that num that cell is fixed i need to fix both row and column both okay yeah. function f4 f3 again i'll freeze row not column g9 i'll freeze row and column both i6 again fixed cell of the assumption sheet it will not change i'll freeze both and enter now friends if you drag this if you drag this till end it will automatically stop where your operating capex period is ending let's see if i drag this up to month 48 though my operational capex will end in month 24 so let's see whether it is stopping at 24 months or not yeah you can see it is stopping at month 24 because i put formula here that do the linking of 0.63 only if your month your column which is your month, right? Num mon mon number of the month is falling in the range of 1 to 24. Okay, otherwise give me 0. Okay, so it is working fine. Now, friends, my last cash outflow operating expenses. Let's link operating expenses and I can see in the assumption sheet my operating expenses per annum is $1 million. You can see and per month is 0 0.08. I converted this into monthly. The start date of the operating expenses month one and the end is 48 so it will be incurred over the entire life of the project okay so let's link this i'll be using the same function if and okay uh 
those cell reference will change okay so i'll put this function again it will start from month one so i'll say if again bracket start and bracket start this month is greater than or equal to my start month of operating capex which is one comma condition number two this month again the same month is less than or equal to is less than or equal to the last month of the operating capex month number 48 if these two conditions are satisfied bracket close give me what give me this monthly operating capex which is i time okay otherwise give me zero enter so friends you can see we got 0 0.08 because this month is falling that range and we need to freeze what in f3 we need to freeze just row assumption g11 we need to freeze both row and column again f3 i just need to freeze row uh, g12 i need to freeze both assumption i10 i need to freeze both okay and enter now if you drag this i really it should pick you know that my model should pick operating capex for all 48 months let's see if it is working or not it's working fine okay so friends you can see we got all cash outflows all component of cash outflows for this project the first stage capex transaction cost operational capex for 24 months and operating expenses for 48 months now i'll sum up total cash outflows in this row road number 11 so sum of all cash outflows and just track this okay just track this sum formula for entire life of the project okay so you can see we have estimated cash outflows okay now we need to estimate cash inflows basically sales so you can see as per assumption sheet my sales will start from month 25 this is the start month of the sales and ending on month 48 okay and my monthly sales is how much five million dollar which i have already calculated on the basis of 20,000 sellable area and per square meter selling price is six thousand okay so let's link this i'll put if condition here I can start with the zero month also because I am going to put if and condition there. So I am saying if again bracket start and bracket start. Logical test one. My month, the column heading is greater than or equal to my first month of the sales which is month 25. And second condition is what? This month is less than or equal to the last month of the sales bracket close give me five million dollar monthly sales else give me zero bracket close and enter you can see we got zero here because my sales this column is not falling in my sales period now i'll freeze e3 or uh, rowing e3 okay and G16, I'll freeze both row and column. E3 again, I'll freeze row. Okay. Uh, G17, I'll freeze both. G18, I'll freeze both. And enter. Now, friends, if you drag this, till end, you will get sales result, right? You will get the sales number and it is starting from month 25th and ending in the month 48th okay so i got my cash inflows i got my cash outflows now friends we can calculate net cash flows to the firm why we are calling it firm cash flows because this cash flows belongs to both debt and equity we have not segregated this cash flows between debt and equity right so Let's calculate cash flows to the firm. Total cash inflows, which is my sales, minus 
cash outflows so we have negative cash flows it means we need to put in money in the zero month 51 million dollar and we can track this till end here we go so you can see we are incurring cash outflow till month 24 till the development you know till the completion of the project during the development stage once we are done with the development we will start monetizing this we are getting net cash inflows okay from this project obviously we are incurring operating expenses every month even after the completion of the development so you can see this is netted off from your cash inflows okay now friends we got total cash flows to the firm okay now we need to calculate cash inflows outflows to the equity so we need to first pay settle basically debt obligation from this we need to first pay interest on the debt and then debt raised or repaid whatever change in the debt we need to adjust so that we can get the final cash flows to the equity okay for that we first have to prepare debt schedule so now we need to move to that debt schedule my third tab in the model where we'll understand you know how much debt we are raising and how much interest we are supposed to pay on this debt okay guys so let's move to the next step debt schedule friends as you can see in this debt schedule we have opening balance of the debt debt raised or repaid during the month okay and then the closing balance on this basis i'll calculate my interest payments so let's do this calculation calculation of debt interest and all in the next video